What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Should talking about Welcome to Dairy, what I'm going to keep calling It Chapter 3 because <laughs> that's the closest thing we're going to get to It Chapter 3 looks like. Now this prequel series that we know is again a prequel to the first two An An Andrew Muschietti It movies we've gotten in 2017 and uh, 2019 with It Chapter 2. This prequel series is been in active development and now it looks like it's taking the biggest step forward because now a writer's room has been assembled and they've been meeting i would imagine since you know going as far back as three days ago because i saw a post recently from a writer people are starting to report on it now shelly mills shared this image over on her twitter first day of welcome to dairy writer's room we float down here and you see of course the image of a room uh, or a hallway i'll say full of red, red balloons now what this means of course is that i would I guess when you have a writer's room there in the stage of uh of course figuring out what they want to do with the season brainstorming ideas shooting out ideas deciding whose ideas i guess are the strongest and who they're gonna uh what ideas are gonna actually flesh out and put pin the paper what ideas are gonna stay bring them back hear everyone's ideas out go through final drafts editing revisions all of that stuff before they settle down and say okay here is our season one for welcome to dairy so this is a very good step step in the right direction when it relates to us getting pennywise back in some form because i know some people would rather we have a third it movie i'm not against it i'm also just not against what they're thinking of doing and what they it looks like they actually are going to do because we know that the expectation is for it to be on hbo max at some point in the near future hopefully very soon depending on how things go with the writer's room and how fast things can keep on progressing so the series itself again uh or as reported back in march will begin in the 1960s in the time leading up to the events of the original 2017 movie that we all know was based on the stephen king novel of the same name so the story is also expected to have like some origins related to pennywise and a andy muschietti and barbara muschietti are back on board to produce the series as well now as far as like that image that's really all we have we don't have any real specifics of what's going on in the writer's room and of course we wouldn't because that's <laughs> that will defeat the purpose of uh of having everything of course be revealed later on after it's all said and done at this stage though if you want to get excited about something this is something to be very excited about i would say because it's a sign that they are taking this very seriously and they are moving forward with their idea behind what they want to do and now they're in the process of figuring out what story they want to have told exactly what are all what are all the details going to be going into season one i guess who are the main characters going to be what what stories you're going to focus on for the 60s what is pennywise going to get up to um i'm mostly now just more curious to see how many episodes i guess this could be for a season i would imagine they'll stick to the standard format we've been getting 8 to 12 maybe something a little less uh if the episodes are very long who knows because i'm also now curious if they are indeed going to bring back bill skarsgård to play pennywise that's who i prefer back some of you would prefer they find a way to have him share the role with Tim Curry. I'm not against that either. I just think that at this stage, you would have mostly Bill Skarsgård bringing that character to life and not Tim Curry. Not that Tim Curry still couldn't have been get back into the makeup and, you know, kill it. It's just that I think at this stage with this being a prequel to the movies we've gotten and not the miniseries we know that came out in the 90s, uh, Bill Skarsgård makes the most sense in that role now for me. And he was amazing in those movies, and I would love to see him just revisit this character and bring him back to life, because he clearly was having a good time as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. As far as, again, other things that I want to see, I have talked about my desire to see them kind of flesh out the Black Spot incident, go into that, and hopefully get shed some more details onto other things that were kind of glossed over in the movie but you could flesh them out a bit more putting them in i would say you'd have to do a few time alterations if you want to do that to set things in the 60s for the sake of having stories to tell for your for your series uh, how many seasons do i see this running for i could i mean honestly with the with the title being welcome to dairy who's to say that this somehow doesn't grow to be a massive success and you know the first two or three seasons starts off as a as a series set in the 60s but then it jumps into something set 27 years after the events of it chapter 2 
and you could have a follow-up to the to it chapter two actually take place within this series in some fashion with a later season like a season four or a season five that picks up 27 years after the events of it chapter two and you have a new group of losers and this would allow them to have a sequel to the movies but it's also a prequel to the movies and then at the same time well, whatever characters you were about to introduce us to if you take that route we get a lot more time to spend time with them develop them watch them become more fleshed out watch them grow uh, you know just get a chance to have a lot more developments that you don't get when you have a movie with a runtime of two hours and some change or an hour and some change stuff like that a lot can be done with this tv show i know it's starting off as a prequel but let's say that this grows into some type of successful monster because of course pennywise is going to be a big draw for and let's say this series just ends up being another big hit for hbo like how euphoria is and so many other things they have going on right now they're bringing back pretty little liars and then with this welcome to dairy now the goal right now is yes being a prequel series but who's to say that they don't take a stab at doing a sequel route down the road with this series it's called welcome to dairy you could do a, you could do many different things in the future you don't have to stay restricted to the 60s that's just what it is right now it's going to be a prequel series set in the 60s but i know a lot of you who are hearing this idea that i just thought of would be down for something where in the future many seasons from now like maybe three seasons later instead of being in the 60s now you're jumping 27 years after the events of it chapter 2 and you're telling stories there and all these different things that you of course i guess would have to be writing on your own at that point since stephen king has not ever written a sequel to it uh, and i know a lot of people still would prefer they don't do anything that's a sequel to source material from stephen king unless he's written the sequel like with dr sleep which ended up being a brilliant adaptation for mike flanagan but we'll see what ends up happening with welcome to dairy i do think that there's a chance that they could end up turning this into a sequel series if it's a success uh and they want to explore new ideas without making new movies but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and image video in the description i have links to social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video